Hey guys, so this video is going to include um, our review of the roof nest that we've got for our cross track. Um, just the ins and outs of having one, um, what to expect, and how we got it mounted on our Subaru cross track. They've got a little uh, clicking mechanism to where they, they won't come back out once they're clicked into position. Um, so there's four of those all the way around. There's one, We've got two on the front with the, with the safety strap as well. Um, it's pretty easy to put in there, but it just gives you the extra support. So there's two there. And this last one on this side one more safety strap on the back so just like that pretty easy um, I had ours ratchet strap down um, because we had to scoot the tent forward on the rack that way we could open the tailgate all the way up it touches just a hair but it's just on the rubber part so not too big of a deal it kind of slid back a little bit um, but that's why we got a ratchet strap down because whenever we're on the interstate the wind pushes up on the front of the tent here you can see the tent flexes a little bit uh, it's it's just like a softer plastic with a metal or an aluminum frame on the bottom but it still flexes a little bit and it was putting stress on that first crossbar so i just wanted the extra security to make sure um, we weren't hurting the, uh, the that crossbar made sure it didn't snap so um, I did have it ratchet strapped I just hook it onto the front of each on, on both sides here so give you a, uh, a little camping light as well um, that you can hang from the top um, we haven't used it yet because we already had so many uh, lights ahead of time but um, this is definitely it doesn't hurt to have extra light so we've got that in there and here's the uh, here's the ladder so pretty simple straightforward just velcro and then they lock into place as you open them up. So we go about four clicks for ours. And once you get that, we've got latches. Set it down just like that. And now you do have ability if you have a different vehicle that you put this on obviously this wouldn't work for ours but you got ladder uh, latches there as well if you don't want to do the right side you can do the left side um, they've got latches there but they have three sides that you can get into the tent from 
So the exterior, um, they give you a nice material. Um, our last camping trip, it rained the first night. Um, so it's very waterproof. Um, the, the rain just rolled right off of it, so we weren't worried about it getting in the tent at all. Um, and it does hold the wind out very well. Um, we don't ever feel any wind coming through it. Um, so on the exterior, they give you um, this uh, one piece. It's got a, it's got a hard metal plastic um, bar that runs through the middle, kind of keep the bottom weighted down. Um, and that flaps over. Um, so that's on the outside. And on the inside, they've got a, um, a, a mesh uh, or a netting to hold the bugs out. So you can keep all the windows open if you want um, and keep the bugs out so you can let them breeze through. Um, and you can roll these up like that. And you can roll them up and this hooks to the little ring that you've got on the inside here. Um, or there are some bars that come with it as well. You push it into the, uh, the hole there and then flex it out and it will hold the, uh, it'll hold the, the side out kind of like that. Um, all four sides, you probably already saw it, um, do have essentially the same thing. You can open it all the way up around the whole tent. Um, and they all have the netting and the, uh, this external material that they've got there. If it's really breezy, feels great outside, you can open it all the way up, all the way around. So on the inside, I'll have to show you in a different clip, um, but they give you a nice three inch mattress bottom. Underneath that is a condensation mat. It separates the mattress from the bottom of the tent, um, essentially not allowing any uh, moisture to get down uh, or into your mattress. It essentially, it keeps your, your body warm and uh, dry on the inside um, while, ever, while you're sleeping. So on the inside as well, um, it came with a LED strip light. Um, that goes across the front side of the tent. Um, they have a just a USB cord that hang down from it that you can click it on and off with. Um, that's how you hook it up. Inside, I think the mattress makes, um, it's right about a full size mattress. Um, the length is a little bit longer than a full size, but the width is about the same as a full. Um, there are small cutouts on each corner here um, for the shocks um, that come down. They just fold down into these corners here. Um, so there are small cutouts for those. Um, something, nothing against roof nest. Uh, it was a brand new mattress, but we did just pick up a, uh, a memory foam mattress from Walmart to go right on top. Um, it makes it perfect. Uh, we don't have any issues with that at all. Um, it was on, the mattress was just a little firm for us, um, but it's supposed to keep you off the ground. They do come with a uh, privacy tent. Um, we've yet to pop it up yet. We haven't had to use it quite yet, um, but it is nice to have in case you want to shower outside or anything like that. And if you're not in the campground, um, you got a full privacy tent. Another thing we put on the inside, uh, just some uh, string lights that we have running around the top. Um, I think I've got a video that I can show of that. Um, just from Amazon, they just take AA batteries or something like that, and it's really easy to put across the top of it. Uh, just a forewarning as well, um, something we didn't realize until we did get it. This is also nothing against Roof Nest at all. Um, it, it seals up so well that whenever we've been sleeping at night, um, just the, our breath in the tent, um, since everything's sealed up, it's cold on the outside. Uh, it will condense on the insides of the tent. So the insides of the tent will be a little bit damp in the morning. Um, all you've got to do is just, we normally open up all of, all of the windows um, in the morning and just let it air out. It airs out just fine. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Don't freak out. It's not water getting into the tent at all. Um, but you will notice a little bit of condensation from whenever you're sleeping and you got all the 
things closed. So. But yeah, so another thing as well with that, um, make sure you do air it out. Um, there, uh, mildew and mold uh, can definitely grow if you don't air it out before you close it. Um, the roof nest is very clear about um, the, the need to make sure everything's dry on the inside before you close it up because everything seals up so well uh, with the hard top um, it keeps all the rain out that's another thing um, whenever we're driving around in the rain um, nothing ever gets inside the tent so they do a good job of sealing it uh, from the weather um, whenever you're just driving about so all right so I wanted to touch on a few points that I missed earlier um, we had to get off the beach um, we ran out of time so didn't get to see us pack the uh, tent up, um, so I wanted to talk about that. Um, the roof mess does come with um, some bungee cords uh, that attach to the walls, uh, the, the soft side of the tent, um, and that helps pull uh, the sides of the tent in whenever you're pulling it down. Uh, as far as height goes inside the roof nest, um, I'm just about, I'm just under six foot. Um, there's plenty of room to sit up um, in the roof nest. You don't have to worry about hitting your head at all. Um, I think it, it's probably good for anybody 6'3", 6'4", to even sit up in. When you close the roof nest down, there is space inside of the tent to be able to hold um, small things inside. We keep the mattress topper up there. Um, we hold the privacy tent up there. The, the bags, um, we've even put our pillows, our sheets, blankets, everything up there before. Um, but there is that extra space built into the top of it to be able to hold it down. There are more accessories that come with it. Um, there are pouches um, that you can attach to the side of the tent. Um, so there's one pouch that comes with it, it's about that tall. Um, and you can attach it just outside, um, just next to the ladder. Um, that one has two pockets that kind of come out just a little bit to where they can hold your shoes. So whenever we're coming into the tent, um, we'll climb up the ladder, sit down on the edge of the tent, and just take our shoes off and set it right in the um, pouch right next to the ladder. Um, so that way you don't have to worry about tracking dirt or putting your shoes up in the tent at all. Um, and there's one more pouch that attaches to the inside um, near the top of the tent and that has four little uh, mesh uh, pockets in it um, that holds our phones, keys, whatever we wanna put in it to keep it off the, the tent floor, so. The reason why we went with the, uh, the Roof Nest Sparrow um, was because we are keeping it on top of the car for now, 24-7, um, it never leaves the roof. Um, so we wanted something that was gonna be able to hold up to the weather and sun and everything that was going to be beating on it every day. Um, so the, the nice plastic shell on the outside of it um, was something that we really wanted to get because we didn't want um, the material to deteriorate um, from weathering and stuff like that. So we couldn't be happier with it. Um, it's a fantastic tent. Um, I would highly recommend the tent for sure. So if you watched this far, uh, thank you for watching. Um, consider subscribing, um, commenting, any questions you have. I might have missed something during the video. Um, just comment. Um, I am pretty active, so I will answer any questions y'all might have. Um, but feel free to follow us on Instagram. We're constantly posting there. Um, and thank you for watching.